this I'm like, welcome everyone. I'm in search of tasty chocolate goodness in Dahlonega. Today we're taking a trip to one of North Georgia's most visited mountain towns. The small roads up here are adding these roundabouts, also called traffic circles or, in the northeast U.S., they are called rotaries. Sometimes it's an adventure going through these roundabouts. Today we're headed to Dahlonega, just 18 miles away. We're gonna get some free chocolate! When the leaves are down, from this road you can briefly see Amicalola Falls from the mountain up there. The state park where you can see Amicalola Falls is just up the road on the left. We've arrived in Dahlonega. I'm going to find some sweet trees in this beautiful mountain town. My first stop takes me to Kilwins. They sell chocolate, fudge, and ice cream. So our first stop for the uh, chocolate crawl is Kilwins, and we got the we got just the sorry we got just the chocolate, and then we got the make them hard to pick up and the chocolate pecan. So I'm gonna try the chocolate first. Please stay in my hand. Mm. I remember last time we were here in Dahlonega, we got fudge, but I don't remember if it was from here or from another place. I think it might have been from another place back there. But chocolate is really good. It, it, I, my friend Madeline would really like this. She's a big chocolate lover, and I think Charlotte would too. Uh, chocolate pecan. Now, for some reason, I thought there were almonds in here because just the way they were shaped by pecan. I think I like this one better than just the chocolate. I don't know what, where you use this skill, but... They're both very good. So this isn't a part of the Delago chocolate crawl, but we did get a little... We did get a couple little um, truffles from Kilwins. And I love the little box that they come in. It's so cute. Let's see if I can get it open. I'm not going to open this. So this one, as I've just been informed by our sources, is the um, dark chocolate peanut butter, and I love like Reese's stuff. And uh, so, okay. oh, it's hard. Hold on. Go and tell him you dropped it. It's got a lot of dark chocolate flavor, which is really good. Oh, it's even got like a little stamp of look. It's even got like a little cute one stamp on the bottom. That's cute. I never noticed that before. These taste like um, like those dark chocolate um, uh, like Reese's peanut butter cups. That's what it tastes like to me. I'm gonna be like hyper in the car, and both my parents are gonna hate me. So um, the next one that made that sound funny. <laughs> Make them hard to get out, but I got it. This one is the Bavarian cream one. I'm gonna pass this tiny box off. <laughs> this chocolate peanut butter one is really good. So it's a Bavarian cream. I like these donuts, so let's see how this the truffle blah, blah, blah. truffle tastes. That's a hard sentence. Ooh. Oh! I was not expecting it to be that color. Like I was expecting it to be like the white that's inside like a Dunkin' Donuts. Like Bavarian cream donut. It does not taste like a Bavarian cream donut at all. It tastes like. Oh god, what does it taste like? <coughs> They're um. <coughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> Chuck got my throat. It tastes like um, like one of those ones that like like that has like the chocolate frosting and it has the chocolate like 
like it's chocolate something like cho it's the chocolate frosting on top and then it has the chocolate like cake frosting inside of it that's what it tastes like to me it doesn't taste like Bavarian cream at all but it's good next stop is the fudge factory one of our go-to places when in Dahlonega so now we're here at the fudge factory and um their one was the chocolate covered caramel I don't know if you're supposed to eat it like this or like or with the caramel up I don't know let's see Ooh. I'm glad I don't have braces anymore because this would be a nightmare. <laughs> the caramel doesn't really have a, like a really like strong caramel flavor to it. It's de it's good though, but it but. I wouldn't mind if it had a little bit more uh, <laughs> caramel flavor. And my mom is coming with fudge now. Yeah, so um, last time we were here, we got the um, tiger butter fudge, and I just had to get this again because it's so good and actually has peanut butter on it instead of just peanut butter fudge like like usual, like peanut butter stuff does. Mm. Oh, good. Next up is the Spice and Tea Exchange. I wouldn't expect chocolate here, but they actually do. So now we're here at, where is it, what's it called? Um, the Spice and Tea Exchange. And um, I have chocolate tea. And my mom already tried this and she said it is really good. And I love tea, so. Ooh, that is good. Also helps that I have one of these um, chocolate mints in my mouth. That actually like it's like a chocolate minty flavor that that mixes well with the tea. I love it. This is good. We need to find. We need to like. I gotta remember which like the full description of what she said because it was a long one. Um, and I want to find this because this is so good. And I love how I'm sticking out my pinky. Mm -hmm. This is, I love this, this is so good. Next is Connie's Ice Cream Parlor. They serve deluxe sandwiches, drinks, and some great ice cream. So we're here at um, Connie's Ice Cream, and Madeline is gonna be so jealous of me, and probably Charlotte too. We have gotten the um, Smoky Mountain Fudge and the guy in there said it was like really, really good. And I walked out here and I dropped like five pieces of chocolate so it was sad, but let's try this. I wish I was in day and then I could like go and like get it off the spoon with me. Mm-hmm. This is really good. Maddie's gonna be real jealous of me. Mm. Yeah, Maddie's gonna be really jealous of me. This is really good. It does it's got like a mix of dark chocolate and milk chocolate, but it does tip it tastes kind of like that um like that well it's it's supposed to be Bavarian cream one that the Bavarian cream truffle that we had from uh Kilwins, but it's got a lot more chocolate flavor. It's got like the dark chocolate flavor of the chocolate peanut butter truffle. And then it's got like the milk chocolate flavor of the Bavarian, of the Bavarian cream one. But this is, I love this. Going around the square, we're now at Paul Thomas Chocolates, another go-to spot. They did not tell us what this what this is, so I'm I'm interested to see what it is. I don't know what it is. Ooh, pro cover Oreo. <laughs> I think what they did is they have like they they cut Oreos in half and then covered them in 
chocolate and I'm sorry I'm looking up, there's just a squirrel in a tree. <laughs> but these are good. We got, hmm. I think we, the last time we were here we got um, the uh, chocolate covered Oreos from, not Kilman's, what am I saying? The um, Fudge Factory. I kind of like those better, but these are good too. So this is not part of the chocolate crawl, but we did see, this one is, we got three different truffles from uh, Paul Thomas, and this is the key lime one. I literally, they fell over in the bag, so I was like, oh God, what is this thing? This is so good. Ooh, oh, that is really sour. Mm. I mean, it kind of mixes as well, but, oh, it kind of tastes like, <laughs> I mean, I love this, but it kind of tastes like somebody, like, like, covered a warhead in chocolate. This, I think, the filling by itself, it would be really, really good, because, I mean, it's got a good flavor, it's really, really sour, and I don't think it blends well with the chocolate, but it's really, really good. So this one is the chocolate lemon truffle. They, this is the, well, this is the dark chocolate one. They were out of the white chocolate one, but I think I like the dark chocolate better because I do love dark, dark chocolate more than uh, white chocolate. Let's see. Frankly, I'm working hard white. <laughs> okay, same problem as the key lime one. Ooh. This one's more bitter though. The bitterness of the of the lemon is mixing with the bitterness of like the slight bitterness of the dark chocolate. So like my brain is like, <laughs> it's kind of got the same flavor as the um, key lime one, but I kind of like the key lime one more than this one, probably because that one's milk chocolate. I don't know, but so now we've got the uh, dark chocolate brownie, and I. I hope it's better than the other two. I, Maddie's, Maddie's gonna really want this one, I know that. Let's see. Oh, ow. Mm. Easily the best out of the three. This one, mmm. It tastes like when you bake brownies at home. It's so good. It definitely tastes like when you make brownies at home. This is so good. I might eat this entire thing. They're they're gonna be stuck with the with the lemon and key lime one. This is mine. <laughs> this isn't part of the crawl, but I do need a piping hot beverage out of the general store. Oh no! No coffee brewing right now. Do they have something else to drink here? So they didn't have coffee. So the only chocolate drink they had in there was this YooHoo, and my hands are frozen right now. <laughs> so ten years ago, this wasn't soldered on. Thank you, General. <laughs> Every time I see a Yoohoo, I just have that Chuck blooper stuck in my head. I'm trying to hold it and my hands are cold. My ELA teacher said that she didn't like Yoohoo and I kind of said in my head, what's wrong with you? And that's it for my visit to Dahlonega for their week-long chocolate crawl. The crawl runs from March 1st through the 8th, 2021. If you're watching after those dates, stop by any of those, of those great shops and you will not be disappointed. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, what are you waiting for? Subscribe and ring that notification bell to get the latest updates on my channel. Also, if you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. Thanks for watching! Bye!